Welcome to Electron Online. Our next example of how we deal with bottom mechanics through looking at the physics of it in terms of torques. Here we have a jawbone. It's kind of a cryptic drawing of a jawbone. We have the hinge right here that's very close to the ears. The jawbone has kind of a curved shape and the muscle here pulls up on the jawbone up against the food so that you can bite into the food. If you want a bite strength of 100 newtons, meaning that the food will then push back against the teeth with a force of 100 newtons, what is the force required by the muscle here pulling the jawbone up? Again, we can use the technique that the sum of the torques about point A, because that's where the hinges of the jawbone, must add up to zero, which means if we add up all the torques together, they must add up to zero when everything is in equilibrium. So zero is equal to now the food here is pushing against the jawbone in a counterclockwise direction that is a positive torque that would be plus 100 newtons times the distance from where the force acts to where the, the hinge is and that would be the perpendicular distance from the line of action to this right here that's a total of 11 centimeters and you may wonder, well, why is he mixing newtons with centimeters? We can do that as long as one of them cancels out. In this case, centimeters will cancel out. So if we stay consistent with centimeters, we don't have a problem here. Now we have the muscle pulling the jawbone in this direction. That is a clockwise direction. That's a negative torque. So minus the force of the jawbone, uh, I should say of the muscle pulling up on the jawbone, times the distance, and the distance here would be 3.5 centimeters. It becomes a simple torque problem. Solving for F, we get F times 3.5 centimeters is equal to 100 newtons times 11 centimeters. And finally, dividing both sides by 3.5 centimeters, we get 100 newtons times 11 centimeters and then divide by 3.5 centimeters. And here you can see that centimeters cancels out. Simply becomes a ratio then between the distance from the hinge here to the muscle and from the, from the hinge to the front teeth. So 100 times 11 divided by 3.5 equals, and that would be 314 newtons of strength or force that that muscle needs to apply. If you want to convert that to pounds, we can do a conversion factor here. It would be um, pounds in the numerator and newtons in the denominator. One one pound is 4.448 newtons. So when we divide that by, divide by 4.448, we have a strength of almost 71 pounds of strength in that muscle, 71 pounds. That's a lot of force. That tiny little muscle here by the jaw bones can apply to the teeth. Now, of course, we know that some dogs have tremendous bite strengths. Again, it all comes down to the strength of that muscle and the torque involved. And that's how we do that.